Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you five different free video editors you can use that don't have any watermarks. I know this is a very big problem that a lot of people face. They're looking for a video editor. They make the video and then there's just a watermark, a huge watermark, a very big watermark. Or you can only export in 720p or if you have to use a certain effect, you have to get the pro version. And the issue with this is it takes way too long to set up a video editor to actually import stuff and then try to export it to see if there's a watermark. So I thought I'd make this video so it actually helps you guys save some time. And I'm gonna show you the pros and cons of each of these and why I chose them. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and stay subscribed because I make a lot of video editing tutorials you guys might find useful. I'm also gonna link my Discord channel in the description where you guys can connect with me and over 600 different creators who edit videos, take photos, do graphic design and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So at number five, we have Blender. So if you've ever seen those dubstep 3D intros on YouTube videos, usually you would see this on like a gaming video. I actually had one and it was actually my first intro. In Blender, you can actually create these. And I know a lot of you guys probably aren't gonna use these features, but I thought I'd just mention this software in case you do. So Blender can actually be used for just basic video editing as well. But the only issue with Blender and why it's so low on this list is because you actually need a slightly powerful computer to use Blender. Like I mentioned before, there's a lot of functionality and it'll just take a long time to load and actually make adjustments. And I remember when I used to use this on my old laptop, which was around $500. When I used Blender, it would heat up my computer and my computer was so hot after using it. But other than that, it's a very functional video editor and I definitely recommend it. It's open source, meaning that the updates come from the people using it and from the community. So this means you'll see updates that are actually reflected to the people using it rather than like a big corporation like Adobe, which is like guessing what the community wants instead of actually knowing it. Also, it's available on Linux, Windows and Mac. So it's available everywhere, basically. And number four, we have Capwing and Capwing is a lot more catered towards those who are making social media content and you actually don't need a good computer or laptop at all just because it's actually an online video editor, meaning you can type in capwing.com on your browser and you're able to use it. So I would definitely recommend this for anyone making maybe social media posts, uh, maybe like TikToks, Instagram stuff, YouTube stuff. It's also a collaborative platform, meaning that you can invite someone to edit the video as well. So it's just great as a workspace video editor. Maybe if you're running an Instagram account and want to make content, maybe if you work for a job that does social media stuff, I think this is the perfect video editor for you just because it's so, so simple and it looks amazing. And obviously you can do very basic stuff like add subtitles, add music, add GIFs. You can also trim stuff, cut stuff. But the main reason this is on the list is because you don't need a good laptop or computer to use this. It's also a collaborative platform, which you won't see with other video editors as often. And it's just very simple to use. At number three, we have iMovie and Windows Movie Maker. And the reason why I included both of these is because depending if you're on Windows or Mac, you're gonna choose either or. And the reason they're on this list is because first, everyone basically has access to it. If you have a computer, you have access to either. I personally think iMovie is a little bit better because it's actually available on your phone as well. But either way, they're the most basic, simple, user-friendly video editors that you can possibly come across just because they're native to your computer. What this means is the rendering time is probably better. It's probably a lot smoother on your computer because Windows and Apple are optimizing this video editor for you on their particular software. So if you're just looking for a very smooth video editor that won't lag, I would definitely recommend either of these just because Apple and Windows definitely took this in consideration when making these applications. And number two, we have HitFilm Express. And if you use Premiere Pro, or know how Premiere Pro looks like, or have ever heard of Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is basically like the industry standard for a lot of movies, TV shows, making YouTube videos, making films and stuff like that. So very highly regarded. I personally think HitFilm Express is almost identical to Premiere Pro. The only difference is it doesn't have a huge company backing it like Adobe. Adobe is very notable because of like Photoshop, Illustrator and stuff like that. And that's why people know Premiere Pro, but people don't know HitFilm Express because they don't know HitFilm. HitFilm is great for many reasons. It's like fully functional. They also have different versions of this application that serves different purposes, which is actually great because if you decide you like this free version, you like this video editor, there's different 
applications in the same ecosystem that you will be familiar with, which is the great thing about Adobe and is also great with HitFilm. So it has a fully functional color grading editor. So if you're trying to use LUTs or something like that, or apply certain presets to your videos to make it look a certain way, you can do that. There's a built-in voice recorder. There's over 400 effects and presets. It also allows you to have very cool plugins that other video editors won't allow you to have just because they're not compatible. You can add unlimited tracks and transitions. It's available for Mac and Windows. And more importantly, it has a lot of YouTube tutorials, which you won't actually find with a lot of these video editors that are free at least. You'll see tutorials for maybe like one or two different video editors on YouTube, like Premiere Pro and Final Cut. But other than that, there's not a lot, but I found that there's actually a lot for HitFilm. And if you're wondering how many people actually use this, they say they have over 5.8 million users. So just take that in mind. It's very popular and it's popular for a reason. Lastly, we have DaVinci Resolve 16. And for the longest time, I mean the longest time, like until recently, I did not know DaVinci Resolve was free. And I was actually so surprised because I'm around so many video editors, people on YouTube, people making music videos and films and all that sort of stuff. Everyone uses DaVinci Resolve and it's more commonly used for color grading because its color grading system is ridiculous and you can really do a lot with DaVinci Resolve when it comes to colors. But besides that, it is so functional and it has so many tutorials. And just so you guys know, DaVinci Resolve is 100% used in a movie you have watched. DaVinci Resolve, and I just realized it's DaVinci Resolve 17 now, not 16. And if you just go through their website, there's just too many things that are available that are not available on even paid video editors. Even in addition to that, there's a lot of presets, plugins, extensions you can download that are available on DaVinci Resolve that are not even available on Premiere Pro and Final Cut. And in addition to that, you actually are able to have multi-user collaboration. So similar to what I mentioned with the other video editor. And the great thing about this is with DaVinci Resolve, let's just say you want someone to color grade your, your stuff. You want one person to just cut and edit, one person to add transitions. It's so possible. And because DaVinci Resolve is so, so functional, it's just like the perfect solution. I'm not even sure why it's free. To be honest, like one, like I, I don't know why it's free, but uh, yeah. Like, I don't even know what to say for this. I'm just saying get this video editor. If you're just looking for the most functional thing possible, um, that's free. This is this is it. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I'm about to make a video on the best free mobile video editors that have no watermark. So if I haven't posted it by now, it should be in the description. If not, you guys can wait. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.